calling Pepper. Please <coughs> note the calls may be recorded for quality purposes. Thank you. I'll record. For Pepper Mortgage, press 1. For Cabot Personal Loans, press 2. For AIB, press 3. For Danske Bank, press 4. For Shoreline Residential, press 5. Let's try number 1, see where we go. Please enter a phone number associated with your account. This will assist us to locate your agreement. When you're finished, press the hash sign. Okay, so that's interesting. They're looking uh, for you to grant subject matter jurisdiction straight away. WK, how can I help you? Oh, how are you doing? I'm, I'm just looking to get some general information, please, if that's okay. Uh, what general information are you after? I'm specifically trying to find out if when Pepper buys over uh, a mortgage or a loan from one company to another, you know, when you absorb a company, do you also purchase the obligation from whom you purchased the loan from? as in performance from the individual? I would not know the answer to that question, sir, because you've come to the main switchboard. Oh, okay. I'm trying to figure out... <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to figure out which department to transfer your call to. Do you, do you have... Uh, I suppose a legal department would know, wouldn't they? Uh, we have a lending department. We have uh, areas and litigation department. Okay, yeah, they'd probably do. Areas and litigation, yeah? Yeah, we try, I'm sure. Yes, that would be engaged credit, sir. So bear with me one moment and I shall be more than happy to transfer your call. That's great, thank you. Thank you. Good afternoon, if you support engaged credit, my take your account number, please. How are you doing? I tell you, I actually rang through the switch. Um, it was actually a general inquiry and she said, well, the best people to probably uh, be able to explain this to you will be yourself. And it was a simple question. I, I was just asking her, uh, uh, could she explain or can anybody tell me if when a loan is transferred to you or, a, or you purchase over a bank or whatever, does the obligation from the uh, uh, the mortgagee transfer to you automatically or do you have a, a, a specific function to, to obtain the obligation from the payer? Uh, no, we don't have to obtain um, the permission from the payer. No, it's, uh, it just transfers from uh, one company to another. Right, because you see, I, I, that, that's what's really strange because every contract law book I've read says that the obligation is not an automatic transfer. And that's why banks, according to Paget's law of banking, they use what's known as a back-to-back -back letter. If you if you read, uh, there is a section on the terms conditions from your previous lender, uh, which will state clearly that it can it, the one account uh, one co uh, loan can be transferred to another uh, account. Oh um, no, I, I, I'm fully account, fully aware that the loan can be transferred and purchased over and all of that and funded, but. But the obligation itself specifically, I mean, if somebody's borrowed from Bank A, their obligation is to them. I'm just trying to figure out how the obligation gets transferred to Bank B. Like, does the, do the people themselves have to transfer that obligation? Or you're, you're basically suggesting it's automatic. Is that correct? Yes, because effectively that's exactly what it is. That's interesting. That's interesting. As I said, because, uh, you know, all the, all the material I've read on this seems to point in the opposite direction, which I find quite unusual. Why do why do Pepper and other companies then send back-to-back uh, -back letters then? Well, uh, one is normally a letter from the um, uh, from our, uh, from the company that is taking on the loan. Do you have an account number, sir, so I can uh, look, it, look into it? No, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm only, as I said, I was, this was just a general inquiry that I was just trying to make, you know. Um, I, I, I don't well, ordinarily, what would happen is one company would write its farewell letter to the customer, and then the company that's purchased the loan writes their welcome letter to the customer. Yeah, well, uh, that's, that's, on, that's, on the that's, same. That's what happens on the same letter, isn't it? Usually, they're both. No, it's not. It's two. There's two separate letters. There's one from the customer, the uh, company that sold the uh, the loan on, and the second one from the company that's purchased the loan. So there's two letters. One from both companies advising of the sale. And will they come in the same envelope, or are they completely separate mailings? No, they're separate mailings, because one's from one company, the other's from another company. That's interesting, because over here, uh, uh, it's been the other way around, that they've been uh, mailing with both logos of each company on the same letter. That's why I'm, I'm saying the back-to-back -back letter, whereas if they're actually separate again, that, that's another uh, uh, added dimension. That's interesting. Well, listen, you've been very helpful. Thank you very much. I really appreciate okay. it. No, it's so. Cheerio. Thanks, you, Kilsa.